Mira Company was founded in 1984, and we were originally a maker of a precision controlled manufacturing equipment for display and semiconductor industry. Um, and as part of the corporate wide initiative to expand and diversify our business portfolio, we began development of our surgical robot called RevOI in the year 2007. And it took us about 11 years of continued R&D efforts for us to launch the product successfully in 2018. And now RevOI is, is being used in many institutions in Korea. And also we have contracts with many other regions globally in overseas market. RevOI, our surgical robot, is basically a general purpose laparoscopic surgical robot. So what it means is that it can be used for um, indications and procedures that could be done by conventional laparoscopic method. Um, our RevOI system is consisted of three main units. So the first one is what we call a master console. Um, this is where a surgeon sits and operates our robot looking at through the three-dimensional HD resolution camera. Um, and also we have operational parts. It's basically the body of the robot where we have four arms. One of those four arms is dedicated to a, a 3D scope and the other three for operation. And basically that robot is very precisely controlled to ensure the safety and efficacy of the robotic surgery. And the last one is what we call a vision cart. Um, so it's where we have a, another additional monitor for medical staffs, supporting staff that go into the operational room where they can see the, the progress of surgery real time and at the same time control um, and assist the surgeon through controlling the robot through the touch-enabled monitor attached in this vision card. So first of all, our system was launched in Korea first in 2018. And the reason why we chose Korea is Korea market and the, and the level and quality of hospitals and also the quality of surgeons in Korea. We saw it was a best fit for us um, to develop our robot, co-work with them and also test our robot. So Korea was a great test market for us. And based on our track record and our references in Korea market, we started um, aggressively um, expanding overseas um, during the last two to three years. Um, and the areas and regions that we focus on are emerging markets. When we first started our surgical robot business in 2007, we had a mission, clear mission. Uh, that mission was to provide better care to more patients. Currently, out of 200 countries globally, only 50 countries have surgical robot in operation, our competitors robot. That means patients in 150 other countries cannot benefit from robotic surgery and the benefits of surgical robot. So we are targeting more of a less penetrated uh, markets in emerging markets in terms of adoption of the surgical robot, namely um, Asia market, of course, including Korea, and emerging markets in Southeast Asia, Middle East, um, CIS regions, and South America will be our overseas target market. And of course, in order to target those overseas markets with less penetration, uh, what is important is accessibility to robotic surgery. Um, given the fact that um, robotic surgery market has been dominated by a uh, monopoly, it's a monopolistic market, it has been in past years, the barrier to receiving robotic surgery from patient's point of view has been very high in terms of economical point of view. 
Um, so what we are focused on is that not only focus on developing and providing a surgical robotic system um, that can ensure safety of the patients and at the same time um, give more convenience to our, our surgeons, but at the same time we also focus on affordability of the robotic you know, surgical robot system that will lead to the lowering the barrier of receiving um, robotic surgery care from patient side. So that is why um, we use our first track record from Korea and we expand it out too and leveraging it to expanding to and targeting emerging markets. First of all, these other countries that have not been benefiting from surgical robot, their awareness of the robotic surgery is relatively lower than the developed country, of course. So that means we have to focus on not only selling the robot, but at the same time, we have to provide a, a total robotic surgery solution. When we present our robot and our business to our customers, what we say is that we don't sell the surgical robot. What we provide is surgical robot program. So what it means is that starting from increasing the awareness of the robotic surgery to the surgeons and hospitals, continuing on to training them, not only the surgeons, but also the medical staffs or into the operational room and continue support to enhance the system um, by incorporating the needs from the market and also customer support going forward. Um, so we provide a surgical robot solution and this is what we call a Revo Care program. So our job and our efforts don't stop at selling the robot and installing the robot. Our efforts, our most of the efforts start after installation of the robot. And of course, the main purpose is to increase the use of the RevOI, to do more cases with RevOI, so that in the end, give more benefits to more patients in these emerging markets. I mean, critical, right? The surgeons are the operator of the robot. And basically, our RevOI is assistant to the, to the surgeon. So we don't replace the surgeons, but we provide assistance to the surgeons. The surgeons are the main controller of the robot. So training the surgeon, of course, is a number one priority. But what's important is that not only the surgeon training, but we also provide a training program to uh, the medical staffs. The reason why we do so is that we believe that it is a team effort once you're in the operational room. So surgeons play a critical role, but at the same time, the supporting staffs and medical staffs, they provide critical role in terms of the quality of the surgery. So we focus on the increasing and maximizing the efficiency of the OR um, by providing training program to not only the surgeons, but also to the medical staff and the supporting staff, to the team. In terms of the training program, our program is broken down into basic and an advanced skill program. So two tracks. In the basic training program, what we do is that we provide both online and offline training to surgeons and medical staff. And the main purpose of the basic training is of course to increase uh, the familiarity uh, with RevOI. So basically training them how to operate the system and explaining to them what are the functionality and convenience factors that are incorporated in our robot through online and offline seminars and training programs. And at the same time, we provide a dry lab. So we have a dry lab kit where they can actually operate our Revo I, not on the humans, but on the kit so that they can basically 
um, get familiarized with, with, with our robot. And also, we have a simulator as part of the basic program, and it's called a Revo Sim. The simulator is basically a, a VR, a virtual reality simulator, where you can do, you know, simple, you know, ring movement. You can you can move around the rings, and also you can do the shoot ring, um, and many other basic skill training through this Revo Simulator in a VR setting. And also, as part of the Revo Sim uh, curriculum. We also have modules where you can basically perform basic um, operations on organs too, all, all three-dimensionally model, uh, so that surgeons can actually feel what it feels like using our robot. And that is the part of the basic training. And if we go into the advanced training, that's where we offer, offer what we call a wet lab, so animal lab and also cadaver lab. Um, once they graduate from those programs, now we can we move on to the next step where, where we provide a proctorship. So we have a specialist, training specialist, and also we have advisory group of surgeons. Um, they can provide proctorship to those surgeons with less experience with RevOI and with less experience with robotic surgery. And also, as part of the advanced program, we continue on a seminars uh, with the hospitals and with, with surgeons, where we can continue to provide how to, you know, ways for them to better operate in a, in a more convenient manner. That's part of the advanced training that we offer. As part of Mirror Company, our specialists and our, our professionals here are very thrilled and at the same time very overwhelmed by the fact that all the efforts and hard work that we put into developing and enhancing um, our RevOI system will eventually lead to changing lives of our patients after they receive RevOI robotic surgery. So we are very passionate about them. In addition to providing an affordable system at a reasonable price to increase the accessibility to the you know, surgical robot or robotic surgery, what we also focus on is to bring in, in a cutting edge technologies globally out there and bringing them in to our RevOI system and our RevOI program. So basically what we, what we do is that we open RevOI up as a, as a platform. So if there are cutting edge technologies out there, we can incorporate them into RevOI. And of course, the main purpose of that is to provide most up-to-date technology to surgeons and hospitals and improving the quality of RevOI surgery that will benefit more patients going forward. Thank you.